bit of Mark Hamill. Oh, man. Oh, uh, 8-Bit Snick Boy is 8-Bit eight, eight Snick Boy. It's so sad, right? It is so sad. Like, it's not just the sequels. It's not just where we are right now. Oh, we've got the Acolyte trailer to look at. Mark Hamill, twat number one. Like, what? A, just a loser twat number one. Uh, this is... Okay, I got to... If you haven't seen this, you gotta, you got to gird yourself. you got to steal yourself for maximum, maximum, maximum cringe, right? I'm talking... Maximum cringe. It's it's more cringe than you can possibly imagine. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, this is freaking awful. Hey, I'm Mark Hamill, and I'm voting for Joby Wan Kenobi. Oh, Mark. Uh, actually, that is the, the slightly lesser cringe one, right? Like, wh- I understand you not liking Trump, but like. I, like, like, I, I, how do you like Biden? I really, there's no. Okay. Do you think he's drunk out of his fucking mind there? Right? It looks that way to me. Right? It looks, he looks like he is soused beyond soused. Right? In this, in this little film video. So, this is the White House press briefing. And, and, and you know, they, they, they come up with the great plan of celebrity endorsements because that always works. Rich people who don't have to worry about the economy imploding, lecturing you not to be a racist while they are massive racists. That that just appeals to people. That always works, right? That always works. Uh. No introduction that really is needed here. I have a special guest, as you can see. Uh, Mark Hamill has decided to join us on this wonderful Friday. And I... Uh, yeah, he looks shit-faced. Like, he looks drunk out of his mind. I am really excited <laughs> to turn it over to Mr. Hamill. Here we go. Just for, Okay, <laughs> how many of you had Mark Hamill will lead the press briefing on your bingo card hands? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I'm glad they fucked you over with The Last Jedi now. Right. Listen, before this, I was like, you know, I love Luke Skywalker. What a great character. Uh, Star Wars is dead. Right. I'm sorry. They killed it. Right. I I am not interested in seeing. I I would have loved there to be a great uh, sequel trilogy. Right. I would have loved it. But it was shit. and, and, And look, Mark, you have tainted that wonderful character of Luke Skywalker with this nonsense, right? You're not on the right side of history. You're, if this was Hunger Games, you you would be in the Capitol, right? You'll be in the Capitol uh, uh, with the people with the silly haircuts uh, uh, on TV, right? You are yeah, you are on the wrong side of history, you drunk little fuck, right? Which is, you know, uh, um, I think a, 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 fair, a fair statement. Yeah, me either. And look, I just got to meet the president. He gave me... These aviator glasses. Going in. I love the merch. Love it all. But listen, I just wanted to say. Yeah, yeah. No one's buying your merch anymore, mate. Hey, I was honored to be asked to come to the White House. That's why I got shit faced before I walked in. Uh, to meet the president, the most legislative, uh, successful president in my lifetime. It, 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 it's. It's hard to get your brain around how how weird this is, right? How like detached from reality it is. He is widely regarded as the worst president of all time. Widely regarded. The other people who don't, who don't regard him that way are thin-skinned, pathetic little fucks who can't admit they were wrong. Uh, Mark uh, uh, Mark Hamill, uh, over to you then. And you know, I don't have to go through the list of bipartisan infrastructure. Law, the PAC Act, the Chips Act, all of that inflation. It, it, oh, the oh, the uh, Inflation Reduction Act that uh, massively increased inflation. Fifteen million jobs. Look, it's all good. I mean, I was really. It's all good. Oh yeah, America's doing better than it ever has before, right? I mean, yeah, we all had a lot more money in world peace under Donald Trump, but yeah, America's doing really well. Look, they got a black lesbian standing next to me. Everything's everything must be great. Thrilled to meet. The entire staff, because you know it's not just one person. It's like a, a... It's not even one person, right? It's a bunch of, like... It's the same bunch of useless fucks that are running the BBC, that are running Disney, that are running every... Fr- they who have, like, no connection to reality. Who, if, if they were 10 years or, or younger, they would be uh, uh, screaming anti-Semitic uh, slogans in, in a anti-Semitic rally. 
a composite endeavor. And all these people, my goodness, you know, I mean, I have no idea. Uh, I had How such few people can fuck up so much. It's amazing, isn't it? It's truly amazing. It's what, good for them. That's all I can say. Good for them. No idea just what went into what is on his plate on a daily basis. So, uh, Well, you know, it's pooping himself probably two or three times a day. Ice cream and raping a child. I think that's basically his uh, his day to day things. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm open to questions, although no Star Wars questions, please. Uh, but I want to say once again how. Luke, why are you such a useless fuck? How grateful I am, and it just shows you that uh, one person can be so influential and so positive in our lives and. Uh, Again, have you met any human beings? What 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 universe are you on? Uh, again, thank you so much. And Peter Baker, I loved your book. Yes. Wow. <laughs> thank you, uh, Mark Hamill, for being here. What yeah. did you ask? What did you talk? What book do you think? Reckon Peter Baker. Let's look this up. Peter Baker book. What is it? Like a massive anti-Trump? I, you know, the worst in the world. Uh, yeah. Yes. Of course. Of course, it is. It's called the Divider. Uh, Trump in uh, Trump in the White House. Uh, uh, excuse me. We have much more division now than we did under Trump, right? Uh, well, or maybe it's this one: the man who ran Washington, the life and times of who? Life and times of um, who is this? Life and times of James James A. Baker the third. Okay, fine. I have no idea. I don't, no idea. But again, it's so sad, isn't it? It's so sad. Never meet your heroes. Talk about with the president. Well, first of all, I only expected to be there for like five minutes. He. Um. Well, that makes sense. I'm. Just, I only say this goodbye. It takes me with a twelve-year-old girl. Uh, I, I cannot confirm or deny. Right? I can He's more of his face than Carrie Fisher ever was. I'm like, yes. He showed us all these photographs and. You know, yeah, I uh, I raped this child three days ago. I raped this child, today. yeah, yeah, I know, I know, it's great, isn't it? I raped this child two months ago. Uh, uh all those photos, it, it was all the photos. Uh, uh, and here's you raping a child. Uh, uh shall, should, should this go public? You think, uh, no, then suck my cock and then go out and say, I'm the greatest president ever. Really amazing to me because you know, I was, I was invited to the Carter White House and I came, and then I came to the Obama White House. But I never didn't stop in at Reagan then. I right? won the greatest presidents of all time. Never was in, invited into the Oval Office, and it was a large gathering. So this one was really extra special. All right. Sir. So uh, yes, I'm. Like, what is he drunk or is he high or both? Biden, we have Star Wars too, sir. Well, you know, I called him Mr. President. He said, "You can call me Joe," and I said, "Can I call you Joe B. Wan Kenobi?" <laughs> Grinch. He liked that. But listen, uh, uh, I'm not really here to dominate. I have to turn it back <laughs> over to our wonderful press secretary, oh, Corrine Jean-Pierre. So thank you. I, honestly, I, I, would you say Corrine Jean-Pierre? Okay, here's why she's a great press secretary. It's not like the one beforehand who's now on MSNBC or whatever it is. It's, um, it's I think she's too stupid to understand how much things are fucked up, Right. I really do. And that's why she doesn't respond to say, how did you fuck everything up? Uh, uh, I don't uh, well, what well, fucked up. Everything's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, thank you. Oh, <laughs> All right, so uh, um, that's what Mark Hamill thinks. Let's look at this uh, campaign ad from, uh, uh, where is it? <laughs> that, that just went out, which I think I think is much more representative of, uh, of everything. Paul Tyson said, this is tarnished Star Wars. Yes, it has. You're right. Hello, I'm with the Biden campaign. Yeah, yeah, I voted for Biden last time. That's fantastic. Is it? Everything costs more. Food, gas, rent. Okay, but Biden's helping pay rent for newcomers to America from around the world. You mean illegal immigrants? I'm struggling to pay my bills, but Biden's paying rent for illegals? They get handouts and I'm paying for it. But Biden can still count on your vote, right? Things were better before Biden. I'm voting for Trump. Make America Great Again, Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. Yeah, it's uh, uh, things were better. Anyway, who was this? Uh, uh, did I still have this clip from yesterday? Kellyanne Conway, 
who really like, oh, here it is. Okay, I, I, they played the estate. Oh, man, we got to look at that as well. I got too much to look at. We'll, we'll, go, so we'll go to the app type. And there are people on the right pushing the American... Cons- okay, person is fucked up insane. Conservative magazine... His- he hasn't conceded the 2020 election yet. Did he leave? Uh, I mean, most, most of America hasn't conceded it, right? I know you, Bill, want to say, no, Trump could never have won. But he did win. I mean, like, again... Any sane person, any sane rational rational person looking at 2020 election went, yeah, totally kosher. Safe and secure of all time. Nothing weird about it, apart from all the weird shit. What do you mean how? You make it sound like it's a crazy idea. It is a crazy idea. You're crazy. He has not conceded the one who did lose. I'll concede it. I'll concede it because it's very obvious who the president is. It's very obvious yes. Joe Biden is the president, presiding over 20 percent increases in gas and groceries, presiding over 22 percent increases in health care, 36 percent in car insurance. I mean, people can't afford the never... natural accoutrements of an adult life, which is why okay. young people have abandoned Biden. Okay. So it's very clear Donald Trump is not the president. It... Our economy sucks. Okay. The we... border is open. Uh, 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 again. Well, this is why they have to stop you speaking, because you just you can roll over them with facts. And they, it's like it looks like this. 8.8 8 million people came here. That's a that's larger than the population of 39 states. We, it's we, insane. We, will we get, know who the president is. We will get to all these issues. No, you won't. You'll, you'll run out high for them. However, however, Mark, Mark, I have something for you. That's really just for you. Right. Something that I think Mark Hammer will absolutely enjoy. Uh, absolutely love. Right. Uh, uh, it's this. Uh, hopefully I got this on the right. Is it the right clip? No, this is the right clip. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> so Star Wars is not, not, not in good health. I think this explains where Star Wars is uh, quite well. Firstly, yes. Episode WTF. The fastest female. The galaxy exists in a state of peace for a thousand generations. Now the Jedi maintain uh, order and diplomacy, democracy, and honor. Suddenly, an unseen force made. Hips the nihilist, socialist justice activist, patriarchal, uh, uh, hair dye political correct, self righteous, condescending of neo socialism have maliciously invaded the tranquil uh, contentment of this franchise and every other. Drawn to the newly found present day popularity. They barnacle themselves to uh, to it like like parasites and inject their putrid disease ideology into the ecosystem to attempt to gaslight and brainwash the matters of a, a extensive fan base, much, much less extensive now. And as a result, th- uh, threaten to uh, threaten its existence, causing it to wither and perish. The evil woke lord, evil woke lord, the evil lord of woke, uh, overlord Kathleen Kennedy attempts to execute the final <laughs> stage of a sinister and insidious plan to deconstruct and defile what the creator of life and the <laughs> galaxy worked so hard to build. <laughs> Under a suffocating influence and um, massively incompetent as well. War has been banned and all lethal weapons reduced to ineffectual glow sticks. Yeah, what I don't understand. How did somebody get like skewered by a lightsaber in Ahsoka and was okay by the next episode? Like I like I don't understand. It is so dumb. Uh, and nerf guns. Her powers have turned this uh, turned the males of this galactic species into idiotic sims yeah uh, you saw the obi-wan kenobi says pretty much uh, pretty much on point to remote the standing of females uh in the uh in the isis society and make women the ruling gender who can 
restore balance and enable the uh, life to then naturally uh, coexist in the galaxy one more. Who can? With good intelligence, fun, and escapism. Uh, it's fun, uh, excitement, and joyful escapism into the franchise and bring respect back to the <laughs> fantasy galaxy far, far away. No one. Again, we need, we need a, a, a messianic game. Yeah, pretty much the state of Star Wars, right? It is pretty much the state of Star Wars, and the state of Star Wars, I think, has cut has has come to uh, um, full. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Full shit, <laughs> full complete, total bollocks, right? Uh, uh, with the Acolyte trailer just coming out. So I remember when they released the uh, the, the High Republic as their new initiative. I went, well, that looks boring and shit, right? That looks really boring and shit. It's a bunch of like non-white males doing boring stuff boringly, right? Uh, uh, I like, I, I, this can't work. No one's going to like it. And amazingly, nobody did. Everything they did under this brand has failed completely. So you know what? They said, time to put a bit more money into it. A bit more money into it. And uh, a lesbian who used to work for uh, uh, Harvey Weinstein, um, who was probably a massive cunt. How, that being said, I did like a show... Uh, What's the one? Uh, Russian Doll. I thought that, that was pretty good. All right, let's have a look at um, the Acolyte trailer. Oh, Last night. Last night. A Jedi was murdered. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't believe. Right? I cannot believe that we're. Um, I'm watching this sort of thing where last night Jason murdered, murdered a bit of false action. Picking up a lights, everyone going, fuck off, I don't want to see this shit. Okay, from Zuno bought you in the Mandalorian, the only good thing. And that was only two, two I quite like the first season, but the only the first two seasons were really great. Andor. So here's the thing about Andor. When you got to the end of it, it was quite good. Like those last few episodes were uh pretty good. But the not well, the how many okay. It was basically from the um yeah, let me look for an Andor episode guide. Andor episode guide. Man, it was 12 episodes. Oh, God, it just went on forever. 12 episodes is way too long for this, right? Uh, okay, by the time we got to episode eight, wait, where he's where he's in jail and they're building bits for the Death Star. And it still goes on a bit too long, right? It still goes on a bit too long. But, like, th th those like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? They weren't bad. And then everything, the first seven episodes, you could have reduced to two, right? If you made that, was it 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? If you made it like a si eight-part series rather than a 12-part, would have been much more successful, right? So, and or, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't scream for that. Nobody watched it anyway. No normie watched it. Ahsoka was shit. Ahsoka, and it, look, the only time Ahsoka wasn't shit is when they had uh, Anakin Skywalker in. That, that, that was all really great. But generally speaking, woke shit, where something and breathing, women, women save everything. The only good character is now dead, Ray Stevenson. Uh, um, he was great. Man, he was great. But again, he was the only person that added any kind of gravitas to this uh, that, uh, that show. The Jedi. Okay. What way is he this uh, this trailer? You will not see one white straight male, right, be, being in a positive role, right? I, and I love the way they they focus on Asian people now because they say Donald Trump made Asian hate by saying the the Chinese the China flu, right? It, it did come from Wuhan, right? Uh, and, and frankly, the uh, the spike in anti Asian uh, uh, racist attacks was from the Democrats. Like mainly the the Democrats uh, 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 widening up the black communities, saying, "Oh, the Asians do so much better than you." <laughs> the Jedi. Oh, they're so stunning and brave. All of those people. Look at that. Not one. And that, how many of this? One, two, three, four, five. Not one white male, right? Uh, uh, okay, because you don't have that, and that's just that would just be bad. Justify their galactic dominance. In the name of peace. Again, literally, there's and again, I, I, it is so racist, 
right? It, it was it was so insanely racist. But that piece is a lie. Well, I'm not really opposed to. I, no, in theory, I'm not opposed to a deconstruction of the Jedi, and maybe they weren't as clean as they as, as we we initially looked at. I think that's kind of, kind of an interesting idea to play with, right? But I think you're still going to keep them pretty noble, right? Um, Eight bit snip will say way too little, way too late, way too slow, uh, way too late. Uh, a saboteur, yeah, hundred uh, percent. They're coming from China. By the way, look, look at the lightsaber moves of this uh, Kathleen Kennedy insert, right? Who's clearly the star. Uh, she's not even good at it. Jedi are being hunted. Oh, Jedi being hunted. Uh, uh, but not, not the white straight ones, because they don't exist. She was. I, I'm watching this and thinking, would I rather watch this or Rebel Moon Part 2? And I still haven't watched Rebel Moon Part 2. I don't know. I don't know. It's my student. I trained her. Let me be the one to bring her in. I sense this is only a small part of... Like, literally. It's so racist. I'm sorry. You should have at least a token white. Right, I get another stunning and brave woman. I'm so fucking bored. Part of a larger plan. Whoa! Is that is that a, a white male? It's probably gay or trans. Some sort of shift to tip the scales. It's time. I, I think I'm. I think I'm probably. Where I am with uh, uh, Star Trek Discovery, I'm like, forget it. I, I'm just forget it. I'm not interested. I am not interested. Oh, I'm going. It's time to face the past. Well, what is safe? Certainly, no, no, certainly nothing. In Star Wars is safe. Oh, thank God, there, there was a stunning brave woman there. Destiny is not decided. Okay, listen, like, literally, all the white people from the Western civilization uh, uh, that this fantasy came from have been sucked out. For you, by an And not in the good way. Anonymous force. If you want to pull the thread, and change everything. And pull it. What are you? Uh, uh, irrelevant. I hate the two episode premiere as well. How, how many? How many episodes of the Acolyte? Hang on, hang on. Did yeah, let's have a look. Oh, I think I said useless. Uh, just so useless. Now, the Acolyte. Let's have a look. Wikipedia, how many episodes it is? Is this, uh, oh god, eight episodes, much the same as uh, Doctor Who? I doubt it's gonna go, uh, what do you, what do you think? I, d I doubt this is gonna go to a second season, though, right? I really doubt it's gonna go to a second season. My name's Vila Beck in the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!